Uh, all right, fellas. Good morning, afternoon, good evening. I don't know what time it is, but I am enjoying the money that we are making. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> it's never enough time for money. But Ryan, uh, tell us the report that you guys got for us. So, um, so some development uh, uh, news has been came out. Uh, it looks like Film Convert has. Uh, built a new plugin program that allows you to emulate the effects of uh, filter cases it's like Black Pearl Mist, Pearl Scent, uh, Smoke, uh, a whole bunch of different uh, effects that, you know, our program is quite useful. And it's, and it's, um, it's very intuitive, it's very easy to understand and very easy to use and they give you a lot of options to play with in terms of customizing it and making it uh, your own. Yes, yes, Ryan, I do see that here. Uh, well, it wasn't going to be long before the competition decides to join in. Uh, that is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with a little healthy competition. Uh, what are they pricing their model at? Well, <laughs> um, so, uh, so, sir, um, yeah, so uh, uh, the price of their new product is going to be $99. $99, oh, okay. So they are going at market value for their quarterly subscriptions. I like that. All right, that's no problem. No. Uh, sir, um, uh, th that, that price of $99 is, is not their um, quarterly uh, pricing. Oh, oh, so they're doing, so that's their yearly subscription pricing. It's not great, not terrible. Uh, Betsy, I'm sorry you're going to be fired. We got to, you know, save costs somewhere because we got to reduce our prices. Um, <laughs> um, sir, um, uh, the, the $99 is also not their uh, yearly subscription. Uh, pricing. In fact, um, th th they don't have a subscription bottle. It's a it's a one time purchase of ninety nine dollars, and uh, there's a ten percent Black Friday deal going on like right now. And then a couple influencers uh, got uh, promotions where they can get an additional ten percent. So it's like twenty percent off that price. So it's like the whole thing, no subscription for like eight bucks. Son of a bitch! What's going on everybody? My name is James Jackson. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that opening uh, sh part of this video. If you all are new here, my name is James Jackson. I deliver tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if that is content that you like and enjoy, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button, help support the channel, and hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the content forth. And don't forget to leave a like so the algorithms can show up. And you definitely want people, hopefully we can get a lot of people to talk about this because um, Film Convert Nitrate just released yesterday a brand new plugin that you can use on all three of the major uh, NLE platforms, which is, of course, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, and, of course, in my personal opinion, the best one of them all, DaVinci Resolve. And that is Hazy. Basically, Hazy takes all those filter traits that you typically would put on the camera side, you know, Black Pearl Mist, the Prolescence uh, Smoke, a whole variety of different filter traits, and also the different levels of intensities that you would have on the camera side. Well, it is now something that you could do directly in the plugin in the Italy program itself. Um, now there is other competition that has done this before, primarily video villages scatter. I will just say this based on the limited time, because pretty much I, I bought it today and I downloaded it today and have been trying it out. 
Based on what I have been seeing and based on what I've seen, what Scatter could do, because I don't have Scatter because this is one of the big things about this is the fact that this is a plugin that is a one-time purchase, whereas Scatter can be either a subscription base or a one-time payment of $500. Film Convert's new plugin, Hazy, is something that you could do for, I believe, $99 just full out. But during Black Friday week, which is this week right now, um, they're giving an, a 10% discount off of that program. And while I don't have any affiliate links or any sort of promo discounts uh, for myself, I do like to give you guys some love and support as well as some of my fellow YouTuber uh, love and support. So the first person I want to talk about is Simon Baker Green. He has his own YouTube channel. He has made some great content. He has an affiliate link there that you can join him and support uh, to get this right now during this Black Friday deal. But there's also someone called Epic Tutorials for iOS and Android Filmmaking. You can get by the name of the channel. It's a lot more smartphone focus. He has a, uh, a link, as, affiliate link as well, and he has a uh, promo code that's in his description that will give you an additional 10% off of Hazy. I know I tried, it worked, and I basically got the program for 80 bucks. So 20% off of that. And I bring all that up because if you compare this to Scatter, like I said, that is a $500 for the one-time payment. You can pay a annual subscription for $200 or a, um, a quarterly uh, billing cycle for $99. So essentially the same price that you would get for the one-time payment of Film Convert. But I know you guys are interested to see what is all this about, so I'll stop wasting your time. I'm gonna jump right in and show you guys how to use this new program into DaVinci Resolve. All right, everybody, we are back, and I want you guys to just take a look and see that we have some images that we're going to use. I think I'm going to use this one as the demonstration, as New York, I think New York uh, City's Times Square is a depth at night is a perfect example for this. So I have this sort of thing on film I'm created. I'm just going to turn this off so you can guys just see what the effects are doing just from a Rec 709. All I've done is just made some adjustments to the exposure, white balance, and I've brought the sh um, sharpness down. So that's all I have touched. Everything else is just from the raw metadata. By the way, this is from a Sony FX3. And uh, if you guys are interested how you can get raw metadata control, uh, these are not from like Atomos. This is not 12-bit raw. This is this is directly from the camera itself. If you guys are interested, I'll make a video about how you guys can do that. If you guys are interested, leave your comments below. But anyways, back to this. Hazy by Film Convert. So we're going to drop this right here. Um, and you get this little customization uh, tool up here. I'm going to minimize that because I don't really need it for here. So we're going to first thing you got to do is sort of get your settings right. So right now I'm using Resolve Color Management and I'm going through DaVinci Wide Gamuts. Uh, I'll pull up my settings real quick so y'all can see. DaVinci uh, Color Management, HDR, DaVinci Wide Gamut, and Immediate. I'm going to Rec 709A simply because this is going to YouTube. Uh, so with that, we, what we want to do is put this in the right setting. So Blackmagic Design and we want DaVinci Intermediate, which it's great that it has this. And now we can look at the different filter styles right here that we can go through. And we'll go through more of this in a second. I want to really go to the end, which is here, which is the diffusion map. And what this does is gives you a great look at how the image actually is being affected by the filter that you have. So I know this looks like crazy right now. And it looks, but it's actually very ingenious and very good. The simple terms, just you just need to understand, if the brighter everything is, the more it is affected by the image. The darker everything is, the least it is affected by the filter. Uh, the colors just sort of are, you'll see what the colors do in a bit. But I like this. Now, normally you'll, you'll just see something like, black and then just white. But what's really cool about this is what this shows is that this tool is able to isolate and detect different textures 
and it and basically they can create three dimensional space and it can show off the different textures and the details and resolutions of the image which means it's going whatever effects you have is going to be very very natural and that's what's really awesome about so i'm going to just right now we're going to stick to black pearl miss we'll go one eighth but as you can see the more we put this in the more it's intensified we can bring this down so least where it's just least but it's and then you can also affect the spread so it spreads more so if you want to bring it down where it's not affected as much but the parts that it does affect you can sort of have the effect a loop there you can see what it does before after but as you can see it softens his face it lifts up every, it lifts the highlights and really smooths things out and you really see it right here where uh, you see her her the, the shadows of her hair is lifted you see it in the brim right here where the light does hit, hit the under part of his hat it lifts this up it behaves very similar to it like what an actual filter is and again we'll turn this diffusion map on so if we let's just say we want to let's reset this all we're going to set this back to where it was normally was and then where you can really see the effect happening where it's like everything is bloomed out they're bloomed out so this has a little bit more of a dreamy um prosthetic and we can also still uh change the intense we can go from like what normal filter is so we can go to a quarter or we can go to all the way to one where it's like you really where if you really want to do like this heavenly dream like scenario you can do that and yet as you'll see we still have control of the intensity uh, and the spread of of where we want it to be now we have the white balance and and basically what this does is it lets you sort of it, it allows you to change it to where it can warm or cool up which is this actually I really love more than I thought I would because it allows you to really sort of decide if, if a I want to warm up my image or I want to give a little bit more of a cool um, aesthetic to the image where if you maybe if you have a neutral a more neutral look uh, a, 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 a glass that you shot that was more neutral you can now just sort of naturally warm up your image with that so now we're so let once I'm gonna uh, turn on saturation but before I do I want to turn on the map so you'll see what happens so I turn on the saturation and what sat this does is it allows you to add the give more saturation to that uh, filter tray so you can change that you can change the color averaging you can change how quality I mean how much it spreads across the image and again it does it in sport in a very natural way as you see as it hits certain parts of the image and it does it and I'll turn this off so you can sort and reset all this so you guys can see sort of the effect so you see it's getting more and more red you can change where how much it spreads across so it adds a natural halation itself it adds a, a, a natural bloom and halation that is pretty is really really good and then there is the exposure where you can change the exposure part of which parts are how much of the highlight is being affected by it so you and then you can choose individuals so you could take out some of those reds if you want so I'll bring this up so you can sort of see just so we could take out those reds and add some maybe add some green to it or you or you can basically go through the different colors not colors and really sort of change out how the the effects of the filters pass and then you can get this and now you get this sort of really wonky like neon style look to the image I will say yes you're probably seeing right now um, and you're seeing from my frame rates it is very this is very very uh, graphic intensive right now this is handling it just fine and I'll just cut right over here so and I'll turn off my film emulator so you guys can see just sort of how this uh, it works so as you can see it's kind of choppy it's kind of dropping it's kind of dropping frames and sort of little stick it's kind of jumpy it's very GPU intensive 
Uh, this is probably FilmConvert's most GPU intensive plugin. So just be mindful of that. Now, just to give you some little bit of um, ease your mind, this laptop that I'm using has a 2000 series GPU, uh, NVIDIA RTX GPU uh, graphics card. So it's, qu it's quite a data card. So if you have any of the modern, um, if you have any of the more modern graphics cards or you got something like one of the, the Macs with the silicon, this will probably perform a whole lot better. But just going into something like this image right here, and we can sort of, just so you can see, I'll turn this off and turn this on. Right now I am using the, if I to go up, I am using the Black Pro Mist, but we've got all these different ones. We got Bloom, Diffusion, Glimmer, Hage, Edge Glow, ProSense, Pro Mist, Soft, Smoke, Smooth. So all of these different ones, and you can, again, change how much of the intensity you want all the way up to one to a whole set. You can go to, so one I really like is uh, Edge Glow. And I'm going to go half, just to show. So before, after, before, after. But it's just one of these things that you could throw for, like, your highlights that it, it'll lift. For the parts that it hits, it lifts up the shadows. It creates a different image. And like I said, with this temperature slider, you can really like warm up your image a, a lot and create a nice little unique look if you want to add just little subtle details about that. Here is another way. I've got Edge Glow set right here. Uh, and you can see, you can definitely see the effects of this one. I've really amped up the saturation and warmed it up, but you can see just like the effects that it has. And that's just the eighth. If I was to go to half, yeah, the saturation may be a bit much, so we'll, we'll dial down the saturation a bit, and then we'll and then we'll bring the white balance a little bit more. That uh, update that, and then let's turn off the exposure part. So, but yeah, here it is, and I love this. It's like this uh, great golden hour. I, how it wraps around the different parts of the image. And just layers, this adds a great layering. What, because what's really awesome is how, look how it's hitting the edges of like people. And that's the part that is really hard. So I'll turn this off. So this is what it looks like off, but look how it's hitting the edges and it's just smoothly wrapping around the different parts of the image, which is what you would get with a filter tray. So this is absolutely an amazing tool and I, I can't wait to put this on. Uh, projects. So there you have it. This is a look at the new plugin Hazy from Film Convert. I have to say uh, it is a really well done. I really do enjoy it. While it is very process intensive, um, it's not too much. It, given my old laptop computer, that it could still handle it in terms of scrubbing through. Playback is a pain, but it's something that I can just quickly scroll through and, and I can do myself. But the effects on it is so awesome. It's just another great tool that is at a really affordable price that you can use to help create the look in the image that you want to deliver. And it's only helping democratize our industry, which means more people get a chance to fully utilize what is up here and bringing it to us so we can see it with these. Anyways, this is it for me, y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Leave your comments down below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.